What's up, y'all? I know this is a repeat video from yesterday or a couple of days ago. I'm sorry. I bought this big old nine and a half pound rib roast, and half the family likes them well, medium well, and the other half likes them medium rare. And I'm, I can eat it anyway, but I cut them too thin. I, I'm not very. I haven't done many steaks in my life at all. I'm not good at it. I suck at it. Uh, so. I wasn't taking into account how much they would shrink down, you know. So I cut them about this thick this time, and they shrunk down a decent sized steak. And I cut my temperature from blazing full blast because I'm just, I'm not used to working that quick. I guess it's probably just me, but I turned it down to medium high. And uh, I put a two minute timer, and I intentionally went over on a couple of the thinner ones so I'd have some well done. You know, and uh, anyway, feel like I nailed it on this one. The steak quality wasn't that great. There's quite a bit of fat in it, but or not the good marbling kind. I mean, like blubbery fat. It, it, hey, it was all good. It was still these were a lot better. Good meal. So it's my redemption. Anyway, I got it right this time. We're close enough. Close enough to make me happy. I'll get better at it. But anyway, here we go. What do you say there, folks. This old hillbilly. Same subject. I'm on a redemption tour here. I'm going to do it. I got the other half of this rib roast. Look, I've cut them really thick this time. Look at that. Look at that. And I got two kind of thin ones, but they really ain't thin, man. They're, uh, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty healthy steak right there. So I'm going to do the rest of my mushroom and onions again. I'm going to do it all over. But I'm going to make this short. I say that, but I promise I am. I'm going to make it short. I'm going to put some, uh, Malcolm Reed's brisket rub on these, I think, instead of the uh, steak rub. I'm just going to see what it tastes like. Anyway, we'll see. Look at there. Got me some more taters. Got me some more mushroom and onions working on. I, you just seen the other ones, right? No sense of doing it. And there's your steaks. All right. All right. I'm going to try to go for two minutes. Uh oh, and I got a beef tallow down. I forgot after I ran it down about the beef fat. That's what we're cooking, eh? Beef tallow. Oh, yeah. That was two minutes. I said a two minute timer. Mm -mm -mm. Now the Lord have mercy. Alright, now I'm going to put some of this. Where the hell did it go? I'm going to put the rest of this compound butter on top of each one. I'll be right back. All right, we got butter melting on there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Too many dry spots. I took a big old chunk, put it on top of every one. Guys, this is going to be good. I got another two-minute timer. I'm going to cut one side down and uh, shoot it with the water, clean it, and then move them over there so it'll be a cooler spot. And let them finish on that. Right now, we are roughly 100 over here. 129, 132. You already done. You're going to be a 32. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to get with the ball here. Yes, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I got it right this time. I got it. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know if you can see it. Damn it.
Well, anyway. It's about a medium, I think. Hang on a second. There we go. I cut a couple more pieces. That'll work. That'll work for me. I like mine about medium. Actually, I would like it a little more rare still, but hey, that's a hell of a lot better than I had last night. Look at that. Right on. All right, Hoagie. Got some fatty pieces and a tater. There you go, Miss Hoagie. Oh, 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 Lord. Is that good? Who you a good girl, Hoagie? There you go, good baby. Yeah, good girl. Let me help you hold it. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Oop, get off the face. <laughs> <laughs>